Hey guys, wanted to make a video about the filtration in my reef tank. Um, I've talked several times about canister filter. I run my reef tanks on canister filter and canister filter only. No sump, no refugium, everything is canister filter. You can have a very successful reef tank with canister filter as long as you set it up properly and have the proper maintenance. That's what this video is going to be about. How do we set up that canister filter and what does proper maintenance look like? In this example, I'm going to use the Rena XP3 canister filter. It is a three basket filter. And I'm going to go through what I put in each basket. So basket one here coming up is going to be my filter pad basket. I have two coarse pads, two fine pads. As you can see there in the description, they are changed out on a six month pattern. Month one, you change out a coarse pad. Month two, you change out a fine pad. Month three is a gap. Month four, you change out a coarse pad. Month five, you change out a fine pad. Month six is a gap. That way you continue to build that bacteria and you always have good sustainable bacteria in your filter. You don't want to pull it all at one time because you don't want to crash your system. So then we move on to basket two here. Basket two is very simple. It is biomedia in the form of ceramic media. Um, Fluble ceramic is my preference. Um, any ceramic media will work for that biofiltration. Um, I use the fluble biomedia, but any ceramic will work. I recommend ceramic and only ceramic. Uh, that is changed out half every three months. That way the other half has a six month use on it at all times. Uh, the upper part of the basket is carbon and that is changed out every month. Um, I love carbon in my tank. It keeps it nice, clean, reduces that smell. Um, it's just great for your tank, keeps the water pristine. So then we have the third basket that's gonna stack on top here. That third basket has Chemi Pure Elite, Purigen, and Roa Foss. Um, I really like the Chemi Pure Elite. It does great in filtering out everything. It has a little bit of everything in there. Uh, keeps the tank nice and clean. I change out the Chemi Pure Elite every three months. Uh, the Roa Foss and Purigen, I change out every three months or if the Purigen looks brown early, I will change it out earlier. Sometimes, depending on how the tank's running, it may need to be changed out at the two month mark, but general it is the three month mark. Uh, that's my usual change out time. However, I do look at the Purigen every month just to look at the color of it. And if the Purigen is turning too brown, I change out the Purigen and the Roa Foss at the same time. Uh, one thing to note for the Purigen, you're gonna need a fine filter bag. Uh, I use the top thin filter bags that you get at PetSmart. It's a fine filter bag. Yeah, the media will not fall out of that filter bag. The mesh is small enough to keep the Purigen inside. Um, and it's a great bag, 99 cents at PetSmart, and it works wonderful. All right, so here's what all the baskets look like stacked up. Uh, again, it doesn't matter if you're two baskets, three baskets, four baskets, as long as all these components are represented, you're gonna be successful. 
Um, I did put a note in there. You can see at the bottom, it says that I do my filter changes, my filter maintenance every four weeks. That means it's 13 times a year, not 12. So it is that one extra clean a year, um, but it is consistent maintenance. It is uh, timed perfectly for every four weeks. So I don't miss a time um, and it works very well. So one more thing to note here, um, you can see I added an additional note here that says um, to scrub it with a toothbrush. I scrub every surface, the inside walls of the canister filter, the outside of the basket, the inside of the basket, the separations of the baskets, the top of the uh, canister filter head, every single surface is scrubbed with a toothbrush every single time. It doesn't matter if the canister filter is a month old, a year old, two years old, or three years old. It should look brand new like you just bought it. A dirty filter equals nitrates. It does not equal bio load. Your bio load is in the ceramic. It is in the filter pads. It is in the filter itself with that meat bio media, the ceramic and the filter pads. That is what's going to hold your bio load. If you leave your filter dirty, all you are doing is creating nitrates. Clean that filter, scrub it with a toothbrush, get it looking brand new every four weeks. You want it to look like you just bought it. If it is dirty, it's going to build nitrates. Keep that filter clean. All right, so just wanted to add a couple comments on the end here, based on some questions I got. Um, just clarifier. So every four weeks when you do that filter clean, you take each of those filter pads, you get a bucket with a little bit of tank water in it, and you put the filter pad in there and you squeeze it like it's a dish sponge and you get it all cleaned out. Uh, the best way to describe it when you first start squeezing that filter sponge, it's going to come out making your water look like mud. You're gonna go through on the coarse pads three to four rounds with it and it's it's not going to come 100 percent clean but the water will be fairly clean that's going to be good enough you just got to get the main dirtiness out of it when you get to the fine pads you may go four or five buckets worth and it's still gonna have a little bit of dirty water at the end but you need to get the mass out of it that first round or two it's best way to describe it it's going to look like mud it's going to be yuck coming out but keep cleaning that filter pad and you again you want to get that filter pad clean to where when you put it in clean tank water in that bucket and you start squeezing it and cleaning it not much comes out that's where you want to get it every four weeks that ceramic media when you put it in a bucket with some clean water and you toss it around you're just looking to get all the debris off it all the brown yuck off it um, the brown yuck that's embedded in it obviously you're not going to get off but there will be stuff down on the outside of it that you're just going to toss around in that uh, water and get it clean when we do the changes of the ceramic media and pull half out and put half new in I don't bag any of my ceramic media. It's loose in the canister filter. So what I do is I just look through and the worst looking ones come out and get replaced with new one for one. As far as the other stuff in the filter, each four weeks, if it's not replaced, it gets rinsed. So the Purigen, just a quick rinse still in its bag just to knock off any dirtiness on the outside of the bag. Same with the Roa Foss, same with the Chemi Pure Elite. And the carbon of course gets changed every four weeks. So 
that is uh, that's cleaned right there during the change. Clean off the outside of the bags when you put new carbon inside of the bags. And guys, when I say some tank water in a bucket, I'm talking three to four cups. Um, you know, each time you're adding three to four cups of tank water in a bucket and, and you're doing your, your clean for each of the medias. That way, when you get to the end of the filter being fully clean, you haven't even gone through five gallons of water. You've gone through maybe two to three gallons of water. Um, it's a very small amount of water that you need to do all this cleaning with just a couple, couple cups at a time. Squeeze out that filter, rinse off that media, toss it in the sink, get a couple more cups. All right, so uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll get more content out soon and uh, have a great day. Thanks.